Let's take a look at some of the new features in this release. We added a few options to make it easier to sort and search the recent drawings list. I can sort by name or by last opened. And I can reverse the sort order by clicking the arrow next to the drop down list. I'll switch to the list view and hover over the last opened column. Clicking on the column changes the sort order, and the arrow indicates the direction of the sort. In either thumbnail view or list view, start typing any portion of a file name or path in the search box to filter the drawing file list. Pin a drawing by hovering over the thumbnail and clicking on the pin icon. This pins the drawing to the top of the recent drawings list. Click the vertical ellipsis to display the open menu, or right click anywhere on the thumbnail. The Autodesk Docs tab has been renamed to Autodesk Projects. Navigation and performance for your Autodesk projects has been improved. We added two new menus, File tab, replacing the Overflow menu, and the Layout tab. These menus offer a more convenient way to access the options that are also available on the context menus. We added a new feature for tracking drawing events. Activity Insights logs drawing events to a database for you to view at any time on the Activity Insights palette. It's recommended that the database is set to a shared location so that all drawing activity is logged, no matter who's working on a drawing. The Activity Insights palette displays the past events for the drawing in order by date. Plotting and purging are events that are logged immediately. General drawing edits Working with XREFs and other events are logged when you save the drawing. You can filter the events by date, user, and event. For the date filter, you can use a single date or a date range. Activity Insights can also track some events outside of AutoCAD, like renaming or copying a drawing in Windows Explorer. AutoCAD can now assist you placing blocks. For example, I'll insert another instance of this desk. As I drag the block closer to its position, the walls highlight. The block adjusts to match the other block instances in the drawing. Holding down Shift plus W or Shift plus open bracket disables placement suggestions while dragging the block. Pressing Ctrl toggles between suggested placement locations. I'll click to place the block. It's now easier to replace a block with a similar block. I'll select these office chairs I want to replace. All selected blocks must have the same name. I can click Replace from the Ribbon or from the Properties palette. A palette displays similar blocks to choose from. From the palette, I'll select this chair as the replacement. In AutoCAD 2023, we introduced Markup Import and Markup Assist. With Markup Import, you can overlay a PDF or image file of hand-drawn or computer-drawn markups. And Markup Assist automatically identifies markups in the overlaid file and helps you insert them into the drawing. This release includes improvements to Markup Assist that will make it easier to act on the markups. After clicking the highlighted border of a text markup, You'll see Update Existing Text as a new option. Choosing Append adds the text from the markup to the end of the selected text. 
Choosing Replace removes the existing text and adds the markup text. Markup Assist recognizes Strike Through Text and allows you to erase or replace the text from a markup. Text comments that are added to a PDF can also be inserted into the drawing. Markup Assist detects certain instructions in markup text, like Move, Copy, or Delete. Clicking that instruction markup text starts the associated command. Markups that are acted on are automatically faded. You can also fade markups you want to ignore. The Trace workspace has new settings available in the drop down menu on the Trace toolbar. Use the sliders to change the transparency. Use the new Copy from Trace command to copy objects from a trace into the drawing. See the product help for a complete list of new commands and system variables related to the new features.